So, like a fool, I actually thought that maybe um, that bug would go away, but no, it's still here. That's pretty annoying. This BIOS is absolutely incredible, guys. I added 25 millivolts, well, which is more like 30 millivolts, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I added like, you know, a minute amount of voltage, and I, I somehow managed to do this. So, we have 24 T4 back, which is super nice. Um, which does work on Ryzen, by the way. Um, yeah, I think this actually does work. 6 should work, for what I've been reading up on. And uh, yeah, 24 is quite nice. Works. Um, I, I don't think that 20 will work. It might work, I don't know. Um, but there's no real point doing 20 if, uh, you know, you're not going to do like, like 5. I mean, you could do 5 RDS, I guess. Be quite hard, though. Uh, I think I'll stick with this. Um, we have a dis like absolutely disrespectful like TWRS value, like absolutely disrespectful, like three. We have sixteen on L. Um, we still got our normal like TWR equation, which is sixteen plus twenty eight plus um plus eight. So that gives us not quite fifty four, but it gives us close enough. So um, twenty eight plus sixteen plus eight. So yeah. You can't do 52, so 54 it is. And then, um, yeah, we have SELs tightened now, which is insane. 513 working. Um, we have a slightly tighter RDWR. I'm not going to try 14, but 15 works, so that's awesome. Um, otherwise, same termination values. I like these ones I've been using since uh, the dock. Um, I like property T40 on gigabyte boards. Uh, and uh, yeah, so and I mentioned the the vlog that I was gonna do like 1.3 SOC. Actually, I decided to back off FCLK down 2100, and now I'm back down at 0.95 on the on these values, um, on these uh, CLDO values. So back down to 0.95, and also back down to 1.25 SOC uh, over here, and uh, back down to 1.05. VDDP, so very very like conservative for this data rate, but very nice OC. Um, and also, if you noticed, GDM PDM are finally gone. So finally, power down mode and gear down mode are both gone. Um, Gigabyte took a long time to give us that feature, but this has probably made Gigabyte the. I don't want to say the champions, but like Loki Gigabyte boards are a pleasure to OC on. Like for this generation of Ryzen, like I honestly don't think i've struggled as much as other vendors um you know users gigabyte makes this super easy to train stuff in to like you know to like clear cmos everything like you know you you run really bad settings it doesn't like break training it like clear cmos you fine um there's safe mode that works sometimes it doesn't work often but works sometimes um yeah, the board does really good settings too. Like, it makes your, your CPU feel like a champion, right? So, I think Gigabyte did a good job. And um, another good, like, indication is honestly, like, it's... I mean, the most basic way you can do it is... You come to whatever... Um, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. They have the impact now. Anyway, yeah, Weeple always has retro stuff coming in stock. I wonder what else they have. Let me check. Hold on. Wait, guys. Side mission. Side mission. Give me a second. Side quest. Uh, that's quite nice, but kind of expensive. Um, oh, they have these back in stock. And this is a board I can buy from a friend. But I'm uh, probably not going to buy it because my, my IO, my mother, my CPU case. CPU case? My PC case. My PC case IO needs like certain uh, IO slots that this doesn't have. So I can't really buy it. Um, I would have been curious to like test out the um, the impact to see if it was better than the sport I'm using now, but honestly, like it doesn't matter. Like, probably won't make a difference anyway. Um, anything else retro they're selling? They're selling this. This is kind of cool. Um, I like my retro stuff. I was like, if you if, if I find like retro, like cool, you know, enthusiast grade like hardware for cheap, you know, like this kind of stuff. I'm all over this kind of stuff. Like, I love this kind of stuff. Um, for this price, like, this board is proper throwback, right? But yeah, so anyway. Side quest over. Um, where were we? Oh yeah, the main quest. Uh, 
Uh, so let's grab this one. It's fine. Same thing. Oh, no, actually, oh, hold on. Before I get in trouble. <laughs> Before I <laughs> I talk myself into a hole. Um, not that one. I, I mean, to climb my board. My, let's find my board. Hold on. Where is it now? Well, it's taking this one, but like, so technically it's this board, but they replaced the revision two with um, like, well, the revision one point one. Uh, mine is the one point zero, but they they added one point one. And just slot it in because like this 1.1 took its place like weeks after launch. Now, honestly, guys, I think that 1.1 is literally just a reskin. Because like this just looks better. Like this just looks cooler. But I think in practicality, there's like no difference. Because like spec sheet wise, identical. Um, I've even googled it. Like there's really no change. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, look. So in my opinion, right, if the vendor says it can do that. You have to give it some credence that maybe they pass some stuff in, in like internal validation. And if Gigabyte are confident, then I think that you can deduce that they probably have the best apology right now. Honestly, they probably do. Like, Gigabyte's D5 game has been on point. Like, the only issue is the Tachyon's been lacking. Like, the Tachyon should have been insane. But it's been lacking for the average consumer because, like, in, in internal testing... They were saying the Tachyon was doing like 9,000 mega transfers, like a 9,000 on the like the i9. And like, people thought the Apex was done for, because the Apex can't really do 9,000. It can, it can sometimes, but like not often. But they were making it seem like the, the, the Tachyon was doing like 9,000 easy. But like, people got the board and it just wasn't the same. I don't know. Like, let's, let's do some digging real quick. Hold on. Z790 Tachyon, dude. I want to see. I'm just curious, like... It's a pretty cool board, though. I think they, they reskinned it. They did. They reskinned this one. I know they did. Did they? This is kind of a reskin. Like, what did they change? I mean, uh, they added some... They added some more silver. I know that much. Like, the board is more like... It's more like chromatic, I think, now. Like, it's more silvery. Yeah, it's more silvery than the last one. And, like, there's more RGB. I guess it's not really that much different, but, I mean, look. Um, yeah. I still don't get why this board has 15 power stages, whatever. Um, I don't I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. I have no idea. Giga probably has a reason. They, they probably have a reason. They're like... No, it's actually better, so-and-so, whatever, whatever. Maybe, maybe, you never know. Uh, maybe it, maybe it's a good reason. But, um, let's see the QVL. Oh, 8,000, not too bad. Okay, so they're, they're, they're guaranteeing 8,000, okay, not too bad. Um, what else? Eighty-three, thirty-three. dang. Them boys confident, bro. Them boys confident. Like, to put 8333 on your spec sheet, you have to either be, like, really confident or MSI. In other words, lie, which MSI do. Um, but, like, damn, dude. Like, this kind of crazy. Um, I mean, dude, I bet if you got a really, like, bin tachyon, you could, like, outdo an Apex. But the problem is, like, QC on these boards is just so freaking bad, dude. Like, I mean... It's, it's actually crazy, like, how bad QC's... Do QC on the Tachyon boards are, like... Dude, my friend's Tachyon that I, I sold him for next to nothing. My, my Not JD, but my other friend Jason. The 5 Night Tachyon for D4. That board is so meh. It, it's, it's, it's not bad, but it's, like, it's so mediocre. It's, like, so, like, not incredible. It's, like, so underwhelming. And JD's board, the same thing. Like, JD's board is not too bad, but it's, like, it's so, like not amazing like you expect like the world but then you get like a reality check it's it's like i swear these boards like in some people's hands do like the most insane things but like take the average sample and it's like just just mediocre i, I don't get that dude i don't know i think this is like a really really like badly qc board or some shit dude i don't know like surely it has to be something like that but um but yeah, anyway, um, moving on. So, 
Yo, these settings are like disgusting. Now, Testman 5 completion time, not that much different, but like, I mean, like, let's be real, guys. Like, this is gonna outperform the last one. Like, the timings on this are just insane, dude. Like, like, insane, man. Like, for 30 millivolts, dude, good deal. Like, good trade in. Like, I, I, I add 30 millivolts or. Like, 25, technically, but it, it does 30, but, you know, anyway. Um, so, more, slightly more voltage, and you get, like, you know, you can run gear down mode, you can run power down mode. Um, so, dims are firing, full cylinder, like, full throttle. Um, and I can add, like, you know, some nice touch-ups, like, you know, 6, 24, 3 there, 15, tight AF SELs. What more could you want, man? Like, that's pretty much, like game over right so i don't know what else i could do i might keep testing because I, st I still have time technique oh, do i have time 10 o'clock yeah i do have time i have three and a half hours if i want to be a menace i could like keep testing i could do like 14 on trdwr i could do like what could i do really not much to be honest i could tighten up trp but dude i don't know that just sounds like a bad idea. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Maybe I should. Huh. I could do like 32 there. Heh. Maybe. Yeah. I'll you know what? Like YOLO. Might as well give it a go, right? But anyway. So I'll check you guys. Um, but later, I guess. I assume. Um, maybe. I don't know. But yeah.